Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2388 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'll guide you through the vast landscapes of biblical wisdom. Today we'll continue our expedition through the book of Ecclesiastes. We'll be delving into Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verses 1 through 7 from the New Living Translation. These verses offer valuable insight into the impact of foolishness and the importance of wisdom in the various aspects of life. Let's embark on this trek together as we uncover timeless truths that Solomon shares with us. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verses 1 through 7 As dead flies cause even a bottle of perfume to stink, so a little foolishness spoils great wisdom and honor. A wise person chooses the right road. A fool takes the wrong one. You can identify fools just by the way they walk down the street. Their common sense is lacking. If your boss is angry at you, don't quit. A quiet spirit can overcome even great mistakes. There is another evil I have seen under the sun. Kings and rulers make great mistakes when they give great authority to foolish people and low positions to people of proven worth. I have seen servants riding on horseback like princesses and princesses walking like servants. Solomon begins his passage with a striking metaphor. As dead flies cause even a bottle of perfume to stink, so a little foolishness spoils great wisdom and honor. This imagery vividly illustrates can ruin the value of wisdom and honor. Just as a single fly can ruin the fragrance of an entire bottle of perfume, a minor act of foolishness can tarnish a person's reputation and negate their accomplishments. This highlights the importance of guarding against the small foolish actions as they can have a disproportionate negative effect. In verses 2 and 3, Solomon contrasts the paths chosen by the wise and the foolish individuals. A wise person chooses the right road. A fool takes the wrong one. You can identify fool by just the way they walk down the street. Their common sense is lacking. Here Solomon underscores that wisdom and foolishness are evident in people's choices. A wise person deliberately selects the right path, demonstrating discernment and foresight. In contrast, a fool chooses poorly, often driven by impulse or lack of understanding. Solomon further states that foolishness is apparent even by simple actions, like walking down the street. This suggests that foolishness is not merely about major decisions or actions, but is evident in everyday behavior. The lack of common sense and poor decision making is visible to others, clearly marking a fool's path. And verse 4 offers us practical advice for dealing with authority. If your boss is angry at you, don't quit. A quiet spirit can overcome even great mistakes. Solomon advises maintaining a calm and composed demeanor in the face of anger and criticism from a superior. Rather than reactive impulsively or resigning in frustration, he encourages a quiet and steady response. This approach can help diffuse tension and rectify mistakes, demonstrating the value of patience and composure. This advice is particularly relevant in our professional and personal lives. It teaches us the importance of managing our reactions and maintaining a peaceful spirit when faced with difficult situations or authority figures. By responding calmly, we can navigate conflicts more effectively and preserve relationships. In verses 5-7, through seven, Solomon addresses the misplacement of authority and its consequences. There is another evil I have seen under the sun. Kings and rulers make grave mistakes when they give great authority to foolish people and low positions to people of proven worth. I have seen servants riding on horseback like princes, and princes walking like servants. These verses critique the inversion of social order and the folly of placing unworthy individuals into positions of power. At the same time, those who are capable and wise are relegated to lower positions. Solomon laments this as a grave mistake, recognizing that this leads to inefficiency, injustice, and societal imbalance. This observation is a timeless critique of leadership and governance. It highlights the importance of appointing individuals based on merit, wisdom, and proven worth, rather than favoritism, nepotism, or superficial qualities. When foolish people are given great authority, their lack of wisdom can lead to poor decisions and harm society. Conversely, capable and wise individuals in low positions are unable to contribute to their full potential, leading to a loss of valuable insights and skills. As we reflect on Solomon's words in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verses 1 through 7, several key takeaways emerge. The first one is, guard against foolishness. Even small acts of foolishness can have significant negative impacts, tarnishing wisdom and honor. We must be vigilant on our actions and decisions to avoid the pitfalls of foolishness. Second, choose the right path. 
Wisdom is evident in the choices we make. Deliberately choosing the right path, guided with discernment and common sense, sets us apart from foolishness. Third, respond with calmness. In the face of criticism or anger from authority figures, maintaining a quiet and composed spirit will help to resolve conflicts and correct mistakes more efficiently. And fourth, merit-based authority. Misplacing authority by appointing unworthy individuals to positions of power while sidelining capable and wise individuals leads to societal imbalance and inefficiency. Leadership should be based on merit, wisdom, and proven worth. How can we apply these lessons to our daily life? Start by being mindful of your actions and decisions, no matter how small they may seem. Recognize that even minor foolishness can have significant repercussions. Strive to make choices that reflect wisdom and discernment in both major and minor aspects of life. When faced with criticism or conflict, especially from those in authority, practice maintaining a calm and composed demeanor. Avoid reacting impulsively or out of frustration. Instead, approach the situation with a quiet spirit, seeking to resolve the issue with patience and understanding. In leadership roles, whether in the professional life, community, or family, prioritize appointing individuals based on their merit, wisdom, and proven abilities. Avoid favoritism or superficial judgments. Recognize the value of contributions to those who demonstrate true worth and capability. Reflect on the societal structures and systems in your community or workplace. Advocate for and support practices to ensure wise and capable individuals are given opportunities to lead and contribute effectively. This benefits the organization or community and promotes justice and efficiency. As we continue this trek through life, let's carry these insights with us. Guard against the pitfalls of foolishness, choose the right path with, choose the right path with discernment, respond to conflicts with calmness, and advocate for merit-based authority. By doing so, we align ourselves with Solomon's timeless wisdom and navigate life's complexities with grace and purpose. Join me next time as we delve deeper into the wisdom of Ecclesiastes. Until then, keep seeking God's wisdom, cherish each moment, and continue to make a positive impact on the world around you. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. And then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. As we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, then to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.